What's going down, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camping with Coleman. It is your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and we got a box from AGT's in the building. I'm stoked on this. This is uh, basically going to be some parts I've been waiting for to finish up some really cool things that I have not showed you guys yet. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and you know get her cut open and all that. I already cut this part so I can pull this out. Let me get that out of the way, and then let's go ahead and cut this because I don't need everybody out there seeing my address. And I think we can go ahead and start cracking into this bad boy, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty stoked. I always love getting packages from HTs. Um, a lot of people out there are like super nervous to use them because they think it's all like a bunch of energy stuff or something. Little do they know what they're missing out on though. I've been loving working with AGTs. I've been working with them for quite a while now. And uh, I have, uh, I have been fortunate enough, I should say, to have built some really cool trucks using their products. And um, trucks that have turned out to be extremely popular, extremely reliable, and have had some great performance. So I love getting packages from these guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Now, let's see. Boom. Get that open. It should do it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so. Throw some stuff out like that. Here's my invoice stuff. Set that aside. Stickers. Lots of stickers. You guys know I love my stickers. I'm a sticker fanatic here. Always, always trying to get stickers. Alright, so. Let me try to make some room here. I got all kinds of stuff going on. This is what we got going on. First things first, we're just gonna do unboxing like regular. Uh, this is one of the tents, the pop-up tents. This is a uh, AT's 110 scale compact pit tent is what they call it. Here is the info for you guys in case you wanna get one for yourselves. These things are super sweet. I've got two of them already. This will be my third one. I broke one so I needed to replace it. So I, I need to have at least two of them on deck for when I do my stuff. And uh, yeah, so I ordered one up. Super stoked. Um, next thing I got is a set of Boom Racing's Type G shocks. These are the revised ones. These ones work really good. I'm super stoked to get these because my first ones are actually like the prototype ones. They don't even say the Boom Race. They don't have the logo on either. They've only got it on one side. These have them on both sides. So super stoked to get an updated version of these. Uh, I'm not going to replace my old ones because they're still working fine. What I am going to do though is I'm going to put these on a trophy truck I think. Most likely. Super stoked on that. Yeah, there's some more info for you guys if you want. And there is the part number. Yeah. Is that focusing? All right, so let's keep it going. Next thing we've got, we've got Skell Accessories. This is an iPhone right here. Super stoked on the iPhone. There's a part number there. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. It's not focusing very good today. There's our part number. All right, boom. Crack this open next. How do I get in there? Love this. All right, we've got a set of Axial SCX10 two aluminum front knuckle arms. This is for my new SCX10 two. Uh, super stoked. Aluminum knuckles, staring knuckles. Super stoked on those. Can't wait to install those on my build. Got some uh, TSH top shelf top shelf hobbies scale accessories rolled blueprints. Right, so here's some scaled rolled blueprints. Super stoked on those too. You guys know I love my scale details. Awesome. We've got what's this one here? Oh, top shelf hobbies uh, assorted shop signs. So here's all the cool skill shop signs. Yee, super stoked. A whole bunch of them in there. Alright. And I've got a Team RAF 110 scale RC alloy winch hook and wire rope. I've ordered these before. I really like these. So that's why I keep getting them. 
They come in handy. They're great for tug of wars and things like that. All right. Then we've got the uh, Axial SCX-10 II aluminum rear tow hitch. So here is your aluminum replacement for your tow hitch, guys, for your new Axial SCX-10 II Jeep Cherokees. That's badass. Super cool. Set that aside there. All right, we've got the uh, alloy brake disc, disc hex adapters. All right, some scale disc brakes here. 12 millimeter hex. Boom, there's your info on that. All right, keep moving. Ordered these before. These are the uh, tire blocks right here from Boom Racing. These are awesome. Really dig these things. I've got several sets of these. You'll see why I've got another set here soon. I actually got a couple of them. Here's one. one more of those right there. Set that down there. And we've got not one, but two sets of Killer Bodies LED light systems with a control box. These are 18 LED kits. Uh, they said they're for use with a short course truck, but that is not what they're getting used for. Uh, not even remotely close to what they're getting used for. Oh, super cool. There's the info there. Two of them. All right, throw those aside. Now, we've got a set of bearings here. These are the uh, new SCX-10 II bearings, I believe. Oh, there's no part number, I don't see. Oh, there they are. High performance full ball bearing set, SCX BBZ. It doesn't say these are for the regular SEX or the SEX 10 II. I do not remember, honestly. I'll have to look and see which ones I ordered. I forgot already. Boom, but I just needed lots of bearings. And then I've got these bad boys. These are the high mass, uh, high mass. These are the Evo 1.9 claw high mass beadlock aluminum wheels. That's what these are. Boom. And if you guys have been following my channel, you will know that I've already unboxed these once before. There's your info on that. You can uh, even see them in the background here. I've got them up there. There's a reason for that. I need a full set, so I've got my spares now. Those are going to be the spares, matching spares. All right, so scale accessories. Boom. There we go, there we go. This is the water tank. This is a water dispenser, I'm sorry, is what they call this. I'm kind of self-explanatory. All right, so what's next in here? Oh yeah, not one, but two compact 10 to one gear reduction units for 540 motors. Now these, you guys, are what I use. You see them, it's kind of hard to make them out in there. I'll do a video about these later. Uh, these are like planetary gear reduction units, 10 to one gear reduction units. There's the info on them, right there. All right, this is what I used in uh, my Kaiser J3000 Jeep Gladiator build. These are awesome. I absolutely love them. Definitely, definitely a thumbs up on these from me. Uh, especially if you love, you know, trucks built with the low gearing like I do. You know, lots of torque and they're so butter smooth. Um, all right, and let's open up this next one here. Man, I got a lot of stuff in this package this time. All right. dig into this. We've got, first things up, we've got the uh, Axial SCX-10 HD Steel Pineapple Gear Set for Axial SCX-10. Boom. Alright, I run these in my blue Jeep JK. They work great. I also run them in another rig. Um, these are going, uh, these also will work in the SCX-10 II RTR because it comes with the uh, old school transmission style. So, super stoked on that. Set those aside. These are uh, metal towing hooks for 110 scale crawlers, it says. There's your part number there. There's what it looks like. It's like a pinnel hitch sort of thing here. Pinnel hook. Sort of, I don't know, yeah, something like that. These are awesome. I actually, uh, also, on my Kaiser build, I used the parts from this to do my tail latches, or the tailgate latches, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, the next thing we've got up here is a uh, leaf type suspension. This RC four wheel drive D90 D110 leaf type suspension for RC four wheel drives D90 chassis. This is basically a set of leafs and mounts for leaf springs. You can see them there. So I use these when I do leaf spring conversions. There is the information on them. Set those aside. All right, this is dope. Uh, this is a aluminum ladder uh, from Team Raf. It's like a functional aluminum ladder. It's pretty cool. It's like a little painting ladder. Super cool. Digging that. Definitely digging that. It actually opens and everything. Sweet. All right. So super stoked on that. Oh, and there's the info there. Boom. Next up, we've got a set of toilet paper rolls, or I mean, uh, not toilet paper rolls, but uh, paper towel rolls there. There's the info on that there. And we also have water bottles, both from Team Ref. Team Refy, I always say it wrong, Team Refy. I always say that wrong, it's Team Raffy, you guys, so you know, Team Raffy. I am I am guilty of misleading everybody on how to pronounce that. All right, let's crack this open here. We have got da -da -da, more scale accessories here. I'm all about scale accessories right now. You guys will see why I have all these scale accessories here soon. I've been waiting to get all these for a while. Actually, this has been in the works for a minute. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so first up, these are both going to be the same, actually. I've got two packs of them. These are uh, front and back tooth metal ball. I'm not sure what that means, but front and back metal ball rods, basically, uh, for axials here. You can see, just metal rod ends. I'm going to try them out. I like trying different rod ends out. There's the info there for you. All right, set those aside. I've got two of these uh, RC uh, fuel bottle gasoline tanks with red mountains, what they're called, but uh, red fuel tanks there. Jerry cans. Oh, let me get that to focus. There we go. There's the info for you guys. All right, we've got. Let's throw this away. We've got. 110 scale RC aluminum winch hook right there with chain. So, we got more tow hooks there and chains. There's the uh, info there. And then we have 110 scale RC aluminum winch shackle. This is the large one, red two piece. And you can see that. And there's your info. Boom. Alright. And we got 110 scale RC aluminum winch shackle. There they are right there. There's two shackles in there. And then We've got two of these bad boys here. These are the 110 scale RC aluminum winch hook type A. So here's type A for those of you guys that are wondering. There's lots of different hook types you can get from Asia Tees. And you see those there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. These are going to come in handy. There's your info. And we also got two of these bad boys. There's a 110 scale RC Aluminum winch hook type B. So here's the type B's. And you can see the difference. There is your info. Boom. Alright, so on the next one, we have uh, Axial Wraith Aluminum Steering Linkage. And this is to replace the one that's on my Wraith right now. It is on his last leg, absolutely hammered. 
so it's limiting my steering throw. So I went ahead and upgraded and uh, got a solid one piece uh, lower rod and drag length there. So super stoked on that. This should be a great upgrade for the Wraith. Going on the Grape 8. And then we've got, uh, this is also going on the Grape 8 here. Uh, aluminum Wraith uh, HD steering blocks. I got green ones to match the wheels. Normally I don't get too crazy with the funky colors on my aluminum parts, but uh, these ones are going to look awesome, I think, tucked behind those wheels and those big old tires. So there's the info there. Boom. Lots of booms today, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's because all the boom racing products in here. All right, so then we've got uh, Boomerang's, uh, or the Boomerang Type PB Race ready aluminum double suspension adjustable piggyback shocks. These are 120 millimeter gunmetal shocks. There you go, you can see those there. These, for those of you that uh, aren't familiar with them, these are the same shocks that I have on my Elvis RC trophy truck in the front. And I got these so I can put a set in the rear as well because the ones in the rear right now just are not getting the job done. So hopefully these will be long enough I can run these there. Um, they're a little bit bigger diameter though, so I may have to do a little grinding uh, just to make sure there's enough room for them. We'll find out though. But super stoked. I really like these shocks. They work great so far. Now, we also have, uh, last but not least in here, um, a set of 1.9 method mesh wheels from Axial Racing. These are the uh, ones that come on the new Axial SCX-10 II, right? So I got a set of those, and I also got a set of the 1.9B of Goodrich All-Terrain uh, TA KO2 R35 compound tires to go with them. So this is the combo that comes on the Axial SEX10 uh, or SEX102 Jeep Cherokee. So I needed uh, back uh, another set for matching spares and everything for that. So now we got those. That's going to be awesome. And then, the last thing we got in here, it looks like, is a set of Corbo LG1 seats. The gray seats. Uh, also, Axial Racing brand. And these are, uh, I got all the Axial stuff from Asia Tees as well. These come straight from Asia Tees. So, super cool on that. Super, super cool. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Super stoked, you guys. Comes with the stickers in the back there. And there's your part number. So there we have it. That is the haul for today. That is it. And I am super excited. I've got some more building to do. Um, I'm really hoping to wrap all this building up here now that we're basically at the end of summer. I want to have all this stuff done in the next month or two. Just have everything done so I can just play through the winter time and uh, maybe focus on one build through winter. So anyways, super stoked, you guys. Thank you for bearing with me. This has been a really long unboxing. We're going on almost 20 minutes. But pretty dang epic haul right here from Asia Tees Hobbies. You guys, be sure to check them out. I always have the link to these guys in the description of my videos. Um, they do an absolutely phenomenal job of keeping parts in stock for all of us crazy addicts. And uh, yeah, just a big shout out to them, man. Keeping me in the game. So anyways, you guys, you know what it is. Peace and chicken grease. I'm going to see you guys out on the trails. Yeah. yeah.